guys, Eric Collier, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine. I'm excited to be joining you today from our Zoom room right here in Toledo, Ohio. As a partner with the Michigan Boating Industry Association, I have the privilege to be able to interview some of our Clean Marina Program marinas here in the state of Michigan. Today, I happen to be joined by Dan Delmont of the Macray Harbor Marina there in Harrison Township. Beautiful facility. Dan, how are you today, my man? Good, Eric. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks so much for joining us today on behalf of the Clean Marina Program and the Michigan Boating Industry Association. We're all dealing with the insanity of a international pandemic right now. Uh, Michigan also has been uh, in the trenches with us. Uh, so what is uh, Macquarie Marina currently doing as a result of what's going on with the uh, COVID pandemic? Yeah, so it's it's definitely, I mean, you hit it on the head. It's, it's a difficult time throughout Michigan, especially. Um, it's a constantly changing situation from, from month to month, almost day to day, it seems like. Unfortunately, we, uh, we have to be very flexible with all of our, our policies, uh, making sure that everybody stays safe while enjoying, you know, Lake St. Clair, the, the treasure that we have here at Michigan, in Michigan. So one of the things that, that we're doing are, uh, we're, I mean, increased cleaning of all our, we have two bathhouse facilities here. We, we uh, clean those constantly. Our pool deck has had to go down to 50% um, occupancy uh, in order to, to stay um, in line with the governor's executive orders. And our restaurant as well, we have a, a restaurant on site here that it's gone down to 50% occupancy with all of our, our wait staff, our kitchen staff, hostess, all wearing the proper PPE equipment to make sure that everybody stays safe while enjoying all of our amenities here at the marina. Well, it is by far one of the most beautiful marinas on Lake St. Clair. I am just stunned at how awesome Macra is. I remember this marina when it was first being built. How many docks do you guys have there? How big is this marina facility? So we have over 600 docks, um, both inside and covered wells, um, three condo associations here on, on uh, the property, a full hoist area, uh, uh, Olympic-sized swimming pool with a, a spa, a fuel dock, with, uh, with, as well as over around 45 transient slips here for, for people to, out of the area to come visit us and, and stop by for either the week or the weekend and, and uh, see what we have to offer. All of which is open and all of which is rocking and rolling right now. I mean, I, I love the playground. You've got the restaurant facilities there, the catering facilities there, the ship store. Just so much to do there. It's kind of like an all-encompassing marina where you just want to spend the whole weekend there and not even have to take your boat out. Right. I, I joke that we're, we're, we're like a, a small city in a way, you know. Um, you can come here and you don't have to leave the property. We have just about everything you could ever want right here on site. And, you know, for all of the different marina facilities here in Michigan, they have an opportunity to become a clean marina program. And that's really the core of what I wanted to talk to you about today. Mac Gray is a clean marina, and there is a lot of hoops you have to jump through in order to achieve that status, one of which is the education and training. Um, that goes along with being a clean marina program. Talk to us a little bit about what's involved with that, Dan. What did you guys have to do in order to become a clean marina program? Yeah, so we've actually been a clean marina for over 15 years. Um, and I'm relatively new to the marina industry. I came here at Macray. Um, I took over about three years ago as director of operations. So we had to go, I personally had to go through our recertification phase uh, last year. And what it was, was um, it's a great program, great learning opportunity uh, to help, help us make sure that we're doing our best. We're making sure that we're putting our best foot forward to making, uh, to protecting Lake St. Clair, to keeping it, it uh, clean, environmentally friendly, that we're doing our part uh, to preserving the, the hidden gem that we have here in the, in the state of Michigan um, and just letting everybody enjoy that, that hidden gem here. 
So there's a lot of different things that are involved in that, like the water quality inside of your marina, um, how you guys deal with storage and service boats, how you guys deal with um, all the different um, aspects of staying environmentally friendly, um, all the different wastewaters, the fuel docks, uh, all that fun stuff has to be top notch in order to make sure that it's in guidance with the entire clean marina program in order to continue to operate as a clean marina. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So great question. We, like we hit on earlier, you know, the, the marina is, is like a small city. We have a lot of, of uh, moving parts here. So we rely heavily on, on our members to help uh, implement some of those best marina practices that are, are highlighted within the clean marina program. Um, so every, every fall, or I'm sorry, every spring, we invite all of our all of our members, either old, new, to help explain some of the some of the requirements um, and, and best practices to help us protect Lake St. Clair and, and also make them aware of. Listen, these are these are issues that are are damaging or potentially um, not environmentally friendly. So this is how you can help us. Because uh, we are monitoring, we are looking for for um, like sanding the bottom of their boats, um, the certain paints that they use. So we are we educate them. We start off by educating them every spring before they they drop in their boats. It's called uh, you know orientation, um, as well as just monitoring it ourselves. Well, Dan, speaking of education, the uh, training program um, that you go through offers things like live classrooms in order to get that continuing education that's available with the Michigan Clean Marina program. Have you attended these live classes? And if so, what, what are the benefits for Macro Harbor? I did. I, I actually, um, this is my, my third year here at the marina. So I was, I was in charge of, of recertifying the marina. Um, who's been, you know, we've been in the program for over 15 years. Um, so this was my first time getting our recertification for the program. So we started off by, by going to this live uh, classroom. And I found that, you know, to take, to take a bunch of marinas within the area, they, they brought us all together. And, and you got to sit down with I believe it was it was about 12 to 15 other marina operators within the area and and we all kind of collaborated and, and learned from each other on okay this is what I'm doing to solve this problem and it was it was remarkable to see all of these marina operators coming together learning best marina practices within the clean marina program and kind of growing together in a way just to help okay, this is what we can do. This is what I'm doing. Um, some issue that, that we don't, we, we do not have a, a fish cleaning station here. So I, I was unaware of, of that issue at, in other, uh, uh, you know, marinas. And so it, it, was, it was good to see what other marinas struggle with, what, what we struggle with, and, and coming together and, and really brainstorming together on, on how, to, uh, how to handle those issues. It's nice that you can work arm in arm with your competitors for the betterment of the industry. And that's great, great to hear. So what did you really take away from these classes that you could offer uh, future generations of operators like yourself in order to ensure uh, that Macra continues as a clean marina? Honestly, my biggest takeaway from this program was um, kind of the ease that they, they made it. Um, and uh, I mean that as when I first took on the, the project, I, 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 was, I was a little intimidated on, on you know, re clean marina and, and recertif recertification of, of this program. Um, but they really, they give you a, a lot of tools at your disposal. Um, the clean marina consultant was a, hu a tremendous help. Uh, I could always pick up the phone, ask him, any question I had, and I still do. Uh, if if this falls in line with the the best best uh, management practices within the program, and it's just really, it's a lifelong resource within the uh, within the program, and and we 
we will continue to, to recertify and, and continue to be a, an active member uh, for, for the foreseeable future. That is awesome. You know, the Michigan Boating Industry Association makes so many wonderful things possible as a member of MBIA. I, uh, I salute you guys for what you're doing and uh, very, very happy to see that. Just one last question, Dan. Um, what are, outside of COVID uh, and some of the other challenges that uh, are associated with that, what are some of the biggest challenges that you're facing as uh, Marina Director of Operations there on Lake St. Clair. I know the water levels are high. Absolutely. What's, what's, what's going on over there? The biggest, you, I mean, you hit it right on the head. The biggest obstacle right now is water levels, especially within uh, Harrison Township, which is, is the surrounding area. Uh, Lake St. Clair is, is continuing to rise, it seems like. Uh, every year we, we scratch our heads saying, I hope this is the highest, but fortunately with our floating docks, we've been able to make some adjustments and, and really uh, survive the, the high waters. So while it's affected the surrounding area, we've been, we've been very fortunate and blessed with our, uh, with our floating docks. And, and you know, we, we continue to, to make tweaks here and there, minor adjustments, but we hope that, uh, we hope that the water, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to say the the water resides and then uh, it goes back to to what it was what 2008 levels, but um, just a little a little breather could could go a long way for us here. Are you finding it quite amazing, Dan, that everybody, their brother and their cousin's brother's brother, is out there boating right now? I mean, is is this just not one of the most remarkable seasons we have ever had with such a huge population of people out there boating? And all these new boaters, what, what are you guys experiencing there? You know, we were just commenting about that the other day. It is, this is one of the rarest... It, most unique summers I've ever experienced here. You know, I've been a, a, a resident of Harrison Township, was, which is right on the Lake St. Clair for my entire life. Um, and it's truly remarkable to see how many people are being drawn to the lake this year. Um, with, and maybe it's, it's with everything going on with, uh, with the pandemic and, and things being shut down. This is one resource that everybody can enjoy. Everybody can go out enjoy uh and and kind of fall in love with it you know i've as a, as a lifelong boater i can't imagine being away from from lake st Clair uh, anymore so um we love to see it here we've we've seen a lot of of new customers new smiling faces new families and we we hope this trend continues we really do it's it's been truly remarkable to see all the fresh blood come into the boating industry this this year well, let's make sure all these boaters are boating responsibly as well. That's the thing yeah. that seasoned boaters want. And again, hats off to Macquarie Marina for what it is that you guys are doing to stay in line and continue your certification with the Clean Marine Program. So on behalf of uh, the Michigan Boating Industry Association, Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine, Dan, I just want to thank you again for your time today. Any closing messages for our viewers that are out there uh, thinking about a marina? Hey, come give us a visit. We're always here. We love uh, more smiling faces, like I like I said earlier. But um, be safe for the rest of the year. I know it's it's gonna go by so quickly. So let's uh, let's enjoy what we have left. Amen, Dan. Thanks so much for your time today, brother. We'll see you out on the water. Thank you.